thought that much of this was sparked by disinformation being shared on social media. Uh, just yesterday, there was a lot of disinformation from people, probably well-meaning, saying avoid Glasgow city centre because there may be or be a demonstration. We heard of businesses shutting up shop because of that. Um, would you support a crackdown on social media to prevent disinformation, whether it's well-meaning or whether it's malicious? I think the social media companies have got a, a lot of improvement to undertake in their conduct. Uh, I was uh, very struck by the communication from Ofcom yesterday, reminding social media companies of their obligation to remove material that incites hatred or violence. And I don't think that's been the case. And I welcome the fact that you asked me earlier on uh, whether we'd had engagement with the United Kingdom government and the Justice Secretary has spoken to the Home Secretary about uh, all of what has been happening. And as part of those discussions, uh, the UK Secretary of State, Peter Kyle, is also pressing the social media companies to take action to remove material that is inciting violence and hatred. And I very much endorse that and will support and encourage the United Kingdom government to take that very strong stance. Okay. Now, the disinformation can be profoundly dangerous. We had an example at the weekend in Scotland where uh, there was information, false information, was circulated suggesting that a stabbing that had taken place in Stirling had been uh, undertaken by somebody from the Muslim community, and it was uh, information circulated to try to stir up hatred. Now, I was very grateful to Police Scotland for immediately intervening on that material, making it clear that this um, incident, which is a very serious incident, and I feel very much for the victim that was involved, had nothing to do with a person from the Muslim community. Okay. And Police Scotland, in my view, did absolutely the right thing to stamp on that misinformation, and we will continue to do that where that is required. A couple of quick questions just on other issues while we have you here. Of course, we had the exam results out uh, this week.